one day I woke up and realized what I was supposed to be doing was helping business owners to turn their companies around and get back to successful as I had done for my very own. I felt that a business owner within the sound of my voice would not have to go through what I went through. I wanted to share my story and to give the tools that I learned having to go through what I did. As we were growing our company, we did not have enough workers to grow at the pace that we wanted to grow. In the next three to five years, our country will have a million worker shortage in the trades. Look around and think about if there were no tradesmen, what our country would look like. Roads would not be built or being repaired. Buildings would not be going up. New homes would not be being built without the trades. So we started with technology right out of the gate on very first time. And we used the philosophy that if it can be automated, it will. And if it can't, it needs to be humanized. That's a human connection. And we put that in that bucket as well. So we were very strategic in our plan. But first and foremost, before you can grow a company and before you can use technology, you have to do awesome work. <laughs> the way we were able to compete on awesome and not on price was to stick with all of the principles that had helped us to grow our company in the first place. We used a repeatable customer service strategy called the 12 points of love. And those 12 points of love continue to serve us and our customers during those dark times. I am an entrepreneur. I run a multi-million dollar business day in and day out. And I grew it from the ground up and helped to turn it around when it needed turning around. I, I think that I have this connection with other business owners. They can feel what I've gone through. They know what I've gone through. They're going through it themselves. They've been in that place. And we can really, really connect at that level. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I really didn't want to be seen in public. I didn't want to answer any questions about what was happening with my company. I was so ashamed that under my watchful eye that I had allowed that to happen. And it became my life's work and my mission to help other business owners and entrepreneurs not to go through the same thing that I had gone through in my own company. But we decided we had a few choices. We could have filed for bankruptcy. We could have closed. We would have let down all of our thousands of customers and we decided to press on and give it the fight of our life. And we came up with a laser focused strategy on how to get out of debt. I take this very, very seriously and I go through a deep dive presentation with every single client and spend an entire day on site digging into their business and understanding what they do and how we can make the adjustments to make their company more valuable. Mm -hmm.